get into how cute the packaging is okay they send you everything you need as well do know that you can add more you can take away you know do your own style on who it don't look like i just went and got my lashes done by like a professional Period. Hold it. Got the dump in, yeah, pour it. Know what I mean, bitch. On it, on it, on it, on it. They all in my face when I know what I got. Love what you see. You wanna deal on my shit so high. Yeah, I bet you catch a feel. I don't know who you are if I'm keeping it real. Hey, my besties, and welcome back to the channel. So, as you can see by the title, today we are doing some lashes, and we are sponsored by V Ass Inc. Okay, thank y'all so much for sponsoring this video. So, I'm going to open this package. I'm super duper excited to show you guys everything that they have to offer and everything that they sent me. So, starting off, they sent over these easy fanning D curl. Okay, D curl lashes varying from 16 mm to 20 mm. Okay, they also sent over some self fanning D curl in 17 mm only. That's kind of like my favorite length of lashes. So I get to do a little hybrid volume set. I'm super duper excited. Okay, also let's get into how cute the packaging is. Okay, they send you everything you need as well. So here's their glue. I do want to let y'all know that I won't be using their glue today. I have pretty sensitive eyes, but this glue is amazing. It comes with all of the instructions on the back, everything you need to know, and it is a good amount of glue in there. Also, they send over so many different things like spoolies and the little rings for the glue to be held in, the separators, Ugh, girl, everything. They send over tape, tweezers everything that you need okay so if you are a self-taught lash tech that's just starting out that wants to practice and needs all of your supplies then vias is the company to go to okay okay so now that i've done the unboxing and y'all know what vias has to offer let's jump right into the video so y'all already know, make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe, join the fam, turn on your push notifications, and follow me on all my social media. So girl, right here, I'm trying to show you these, <laughs> these itty bitty lashes that I got, okay? But it's it's okay, because we're about to take them from zero to 100 real quick, okay? So I will be mixing, like I said, the 17mm. And then the 16 through 20 mm. This is the glue that I'm using. It's by Kish. I envy. Um, it's in black. They also offer it in white. I got it from my local beauty supply. And it works pretty well for me. So, yeah. I'll be using the tweezers that I sent over. And then I also have these tiny pointy tweezers that I got from Amazon. If y'all want them, I will link them in the description box below. I need to do like an Amazon sharpening thing so y'all can just see everything that I ever have bought from Amazon. But anyways, I will be doing the isolation process, okay? So that's where you isolate one little lash of yours and you take a small fan of lashes like this and you are going to attach it to your lash. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, but it can be a little bit difficult to grasp at the beginning. So I'm going to show it to you guys a couple of times and then I'm going to speed through for those who are visual learners. But yeah, it's easy to do once you get the grasp of it and once you figure out how you need to position your hand. That's the most important part. Also, please don't poke yourself in the eye. But yeah, um, my lashes at the end kind of isolate themselves because they're so small and like spaced out. But um, this is how the lash techs do it. So I try to mimic their style. I used to just attach the lashes to the bottom of my eyelash. And that didn't work out too well. It didn't look as natural as the lash techs do it. So I'm going to stop rambling. And I'm going to show you guys how I add the 17mm to the, the bottom half of my lashes, if that makes any sense. Like the outer corner, okay? Okay. Oh 
this is what i got they're looking really spaced out really natural but we need some fullness okay this looks like i need a filling right so now i'm just going to go in between and underneath and fill in the lashes but i'm going to be using lengths um 18 19 and 20 just to give me some v -v volume okay um one thing i did notice it's really important to use small fans and hopefully i get to show you guys how i do my fans but um if you don't know what a fan is it's just a really small clump of lashes i suck at creating fans but i am going to try to include a clip really soon okay so here are the first fans that i ever created they suck okay do not do this i repeat do not do this they are too big they weren't pinched enough at the bottom Ain't no way that you can attach these to your eyes and it will look natural, okay? So what you're supposed to do is grab the eeniest, tiniest bit of lashes possible. Squeeze them really, really tight together. I like to do the index finger and the thumb. And that is how you should attach the lashes. Did y'all know that when I first did my lashes at home, I wasn't even creating fans? Like, you're supposed to make the fans before you attach them to your eyes. And if you make multiple before you start, then, like, the process isn't as tedious and it goes by super duper quicker. Girl, see, this is why YouTube is so important because they be teaching the gym. So, yeah, make tiny fans and then start doing your lashes. Make sure that you guys are using the smallest fans possible and make sure that every time you attach the lash is going in the direction that your natural eyelashes go in. So my inner corner, literally my lashes go towards my nose. So that's how I'm going to place them on my eye. Um, just be careful. Take your time. I know it's super duper tedious, but they'll look so much better in the end if you just take your time. So put on some music, girl, and just do your thing
y'all ain't tell me that my edges was looking ashy. Like, I don't know what's going on right here, but y'all wowed all, okay, for not telling me that my lash, I mean, that my edges was looking a little crusty. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but anyways, anyways, my lashes are looking super duper natural. Okay, so I do want y'all to know that I was going for a natural hybrid volume set. You know what I'm saying? Like a, a mix between classic and hybrid and volume okay so let me kind of like talk to you guys about what each means classic is like a really natural set like that's the basic that you can do a hybrid goes from shorter lengths to longer lengths it's from the inner corner to the outer corner and then volume i think that it just has a lot of volume <laughs> like they look a little more thicker if that makes sense i don't really know i'm not a last tech, okay if y'all ain't know fyi but yeah, that's the look I was going for. I do know that you can add more. You can take away. You know, do your own style. That's why it's so cool to do lashes at home. Because sometimes the lash girls don't be knowing what you want. So you can give yourself exactly what you want. So shout out to VIs for sponsoring this video. Because I'm definitely going to be shopping with them from now on. I love their lashes. <laughs> okay like they're so easy to brush through um the glad um the glue that i used was really really good none like fell out the first like two to three days so that's definitely something that you want to look forward to in your glue that you use they just so cute like period i love it okay these lashes are bomb they were easy to create fans with and the eyes sent me everything that i needed so we love that okay on who it don't look like i just went and got my lashes done by like a professional period y'all can do the same exact thing make sure that you check the link in the description box for everything you need including discount codes so you can save money when you shop and yeah when you shop with vis tell them that tara sent you okay so i'm gonna stop rambling i hope y'all enjoy please be sure to comment down below tell me what you want me to film next i got y'all with the content and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, mamas. Mwah. Hold it. Got the dump in, yeah, pour it. Know what I mean, bitch. On it, on it, on it, on it.